Okay, so I really don't know how I'm supposed to start this interview. I'm supposed to bow. Is it supposed to be absolutely? A, you know, Kyung just okay, whatever that meant. <laughs> no, so that me. means bow. Kyung bow. means bow oh, in right. Korean. So Kyung Yes. And you put your feet together when you See, bow. See now, as a show of respect. You could, you, uh, wait, I'm putting no, my feet can. together for you. And they always look at me. See, it's a lot of things we gotta learn. Well, if you bow your head, today. I might just no, no. <laughs> it, go, it goes south real quick. A lot of things we have to learn, and a lot of things you are teaching at your self-defense and martial art classes. Why is this something you felt was important to bring to the city? Well, I've traveled and lived all around this country, and no matter where you go, defending yourself, as in your person, is one of the utmost important things. When I moved back to Jackson, though. Um, I just kept hearing about crime, and it's not like it's not everywhere else, but I thought to myself, we gotta do something to inform people or at least uh, show them how to defend themselves, because I want people to be outside and not scared to go outside. Um, so I saw a post by Stephen Brown at Briarwood Art Center, and he said, we need more self-defense. And I thought to myself, well, I've been training for 30, 35 years of my life, and I might as well put my skills to good use. So I called him up and I said, hey, let me offer a free class. And he said, sure, are you sure? <laughs> and I said, absolutely. And he carved out some room on his schedule and we have free classes on Sundays and Mondays for anyone to come. Wow, mm -hmm. and so again, you can learn Kiyonge. Yes. And bow right, yeah, and, and what else can you learn? All right, so here's the thing. There's a big difference between martial arts and self-defense, right? So martial arts is very formal. It's where we go Kiyonge and we bow and we, um, we practice different uh, skills and techniques. It's a sport. Self-defense, I want you to come in dressed exactly how you are because what happens if you go to a grocery store dressed like that, you can't say, hey, Mr. Robert, I need to put on my yoga <laughs> tights and I got to get my pads real quick. Right. Like, you got to know how to defend yourself. So self-defense, I am teaching some martial arts techniques, but they're quick and they're simple for everyone to learn. And what we do is repetition. So when I put you in certain scenarios, say if someone grabs your wrist, I'm going to teach you five different ways to get out of that and we're going to practice it. So if you just happen to be walking and somebody grabs your wrist, it's not I'm like, oh, somebody grabbed my wrist. It's nope, I know what to do. And you're gonna get active. Okay. So that's what self-defense is about. It's about repetition. It's teaching um, real clear techniques on how to disarm people and get home safe to your family. This is very important. Okay, so now you have more information on the screen that we will show about <laughs> when the classes are, what's going on, Correct. and also a cool celebration that's happening at Briarwood Art Center coming up soon too, right? Yes, yes, yes indeed. We have the birthday celebration that's coming up on September 8th at Briarwood Art Center, and it's celebrating two years of almost free everything. Everything we do in this class is, um, is relatively free uh, and in the center. We've got candle making, we've got quilting, everything. So we're going to celebrate and then if you pull up to the celebration, you'll get to see some of the stuff that we did, include me. Awesome. Okay, so now you, we've got some things, with some techniques you're going to show me, and uh -huh. I'm going to bring you back in just a second, too. But now, with this thing, what are we supposed to be doing? So I use this because most people haven't hit a real thing. And so I use this so I can allow you to hit me without me getting hurt. It's called a slam pad. I'm going to teach you how to kick. Ow right there uh-huh and then those are gonna be for you you're gonna put them on your hand and then right. I'm gonna teach you some one two three four techniques because what I've also learned is that most people have never thrown a real punch oh no I, I can hit I don't want to uh -huh. but I can throw one if I need to you know most <laughs> people think that and so we're gonna find out if you can actually throw a proper technique punch because what you want is minimal effort but maximum force. Okay. Right? Okay. So if you know the technique, let me see what you punch. Well, that's oh, I got girl. right there. You know. Girl. It, ain't, it, <laughs> I'm, it, it was in the you. I got it, nervous. Uh-huh. I got I, nervous. I, I, I saw you. That, that, was, that was not bad, bad but. With you, the shoulder? Yeah. So you hit with the. You hit with the first two knuckles always, oh. and that way you come in here, right? Uh -huh. And then you come straight from the chamber. It goes out when you hit. So let's try this again. I see you okay. coming off the back back arm. Are you not, I, yeah. I thought that's, that was right. That's the kill shot right there. Oh, so okay. start with a jab. That's your first one. You're gonna go here to okay. here. Ah, that's a one. I'm just that, that. Okay. one, two. Yeah. So then we got a one-two combo. One, two, one, two. And then I'm gonna teach you a slip. So it's a one, two. And then slip that way. Oh. Yeah, because somebody's gonna punch you. You see <laughs> how that works? So All when right. you start, it starts like that. So we go bam, bam after the break. Y'all gotta right. stay with us because we have way it. more coming up for the people. I didn't learn to be something now. Okay.